Let's take a look at a few of the main user interface features using the project that we're going to be working on, the Kitchen Edition. Let's start with the Application Menu. This is also known as the Big R. And that's it right there. You can see it's a Big R. If you just drop down that menu, you'll notice that you can start new, open, and do other common things that you'll need to do. And throughout the course, we'll be coming back to this for various things. One feature that I like to highlight from the application menu is the Options button. If I click on the Options button, this takes you to the general options of Revit. And again, we'll be coming back to this in later videos explaining key features in the context of a project. Next, let's look at the ribbon. This is the ribbon right here. You can see my mouse is hovered over Home. Each one of these is like a tab. And you can click on the various tabs and look at the tools that are available there. Now you'll notice right now, many of the tools are grayed out. That's because it's context sensitive. Right now, I'm in a sheet view. Therefore, I can't use the wall command. Let's go to the project browser where we'll look more in depth later. I'm going to double click on level one. Notice in the ribbon, now the wall tool is available to you. You'll notice that some tools have arrows pointing down. Take for instance the wall tool. If I drop that down, it just offers other options based upon the wall tool. Some of the key places that you're going to be during this project are home. Many of the tools that you need will be found in here. You also have insert. For instance, if I want to link a CAD file or link a Revit file. Those tools are found there. Or if I want to load a family, it's found here as well. Annotate has a lot of the annotation type tools, dimensions, text. Now you'll notice that my ribbon might be a little bit different from your ribbon. And that's because depending on add-ons that you put in or other updates that you put in from Autodesk, for instance, a subscription advantage pack, you may get different add-ons. But don't worry, I have all the main ones that you have, and these are all the important ones that we will use during the class. You'll notice under View, there's some key tools that we're going to be using, and we will explain all of these in depth. Manage. This is where you can manage a lot of the information that happens in your project. For instance, I want to change line styles, or I want to change my elevation tags. Those are sort of overall settings, which can be found under Manage. Of course, Modify, you're going to use this a lot. Now, let's look at a key feature of the ribbon. I'm going to go to the Wall tool. Notice what happens. It creates a colored band around this ribbon, and it's green. And that's to indicate that your Modify Place Wall is the custom tab that you're looking at. You still have all of your other ribbon tabs available to you, but this one here is the main one that we're going to be working on. This will have tools which are specific for whatever you're working on, in this case, the wall.